and Television Dude here. And today we're gonna play some more of my Mario Maker levels. Uh, what are we gonna start with today? In this video we're gonna do Mario Lost His Hat plus my updated Indiana Toad. I showed you the other one, but I like the updated one better. I have some new secrets in there. And I changed things up a little bit. I'm gonna do a bunch of Mario Maker videos today. And I'll, I'm gonna do two in this one, then I'm gonna do uh, this other battle. It's gonna be the whole video. This is my popular one right now. This one became popular all of a sudden. First time I've ever had a popular video. There's more than one way to do this. You can spin jump on these minis, which I stink at. But, you know, I'm not that great of a Mario player. I am better at making the levels than actually creating them. And there's our hat for the first one. The object is to find Mario's hat in each one, in other ways. This one, what do we do here? Our hat is over there by that drop right there. We get too close to him, he kills it. That is not good. Luckily, you can reset. Hopefully, I don't fail it this year. What you need is to put a bomb up there. I should have got the spring. I'm better at I'm better at doing this with the spring. Other people are better at throwing it up there. Well, I am not. Oops, I messed that up. I'll get bomb number two. Hopefully I don't screw up on bomb number two. Over here, back, run back, so he doesn't kill the bomb. That'll happen too. Oops. Oh, just throw it up there. Okay, I'm failing already on my own level. Shows you how great I am at Mario Maker. Or Mario in general. And I killed my bomb. Guess what? We gotta start over. See, if you're a better player than me, you can uh, do this a lot easier. See, creating levels, I'm good at. I'm really good at creating levels. Love creating levels. Sometimes I'm just lucky to get these uploaded. Once I get past the next room, I'm all good to go. Or I think I am. <laughs> so I think there's a checkpoint, you know. Oops, <laughs> I forgot, I gotta put, hold down to drop bombs, hold down. Yoshi, the easiest way to do this is to grab it as I'm jumping down. If we miss, we can just go back and do the reset. If we missed. Just don't get by the swamp, or it'll actually kill Yoshi. It will kill Yoshi. So we're gonna do this the hard way, I guess. Let's just get this spring out of here. Just in the way. Some jump off. 
First you get a star. Let's look for our hat that's hidden in all of these findings here. And I made it. Sometimes I failed that too, I swear. Now here's our decoy room. You see a hat here, and you think to pick it up. Which really you shouldn't. It doesn't hurt anything if you do, but you don't. But you don't need it. You're just gonna knock it back off your head anyway. Cause what you? Cause if you put that hat on, then you can't put on the hat that you need. So you see that hat, and you think you should put it underneath that. Uh, use it to hold the swamp up and get through that area. That is a falsehood. These, these coins here represent something up above. And what you really need is this hat here. Just a simple puzzle, but it does confuse people. Now there's more than two ways to do this one. First you must hit this block here at the vine before you get the hat. You can do this with, without throwing the spring and with throwing the spring. If you do it with throwing the spring, it's easier. Less chance of death. Without the spring, there's more of a chance to die. And I didn't even know you could do it without the spring when I made the level. Here is like a uh, minefield kind of place. Oops, I didn't. I forgot about him. You see, the thing with uh, this game here, here's a tip for you. If you want, uh, the only way to make uh, blocks uh, reset themselves after being blown up is you gotta put vines in them. That's the key. If I go in here and come back out, and they reset. That is the only way to get blocks to reset. They will not reset if they don't have mine. Let's see if I remember how to do this properly. We'll try this one here. Wait, no, I don't think that's the right one, but... As long as I can knock, uh... I may have messed this up. I may have to start over. No, no, I got it, I got it. He on the right one there. Okay. Okay. And we're good to go. To our finale! To our Bowser finale. Before we do that, we will come over here and get ourselves a bonus Yoshi. Yoshi. His only purpose is so you can end the level with Yoshi. Nothing else. Oh, and I messed that up. Oh, get back out of there. I'm trying to push it. We'll get our Yoshi done. Just one hit at a time. It might take a minute or two. But it's safer. If you do two hits at a time and hold up, there's more of a chance you will jump up in there with your hat and have to do the whole mind puzzle again to get another hat. Or bomb puzzle. And I don't want to do that again, so let's just be safe here. Then we'll get our Yoshi and get out of here. Poke Bowser in the butt. How much fun is that? What's, what's better than poking Bowser in the butt? Not much, I tell you. Not much. And that's it. 
This level does stump some people, but quite a few people figure it out. See, right there is my popular level. Two more people have just played it. And I will play my uh, updated Indiana Toad with comments, but I actually have to do that outside of this. Uh, let's get out of here. We gotta go to Course World for that. Because I can't. Uh, you can't have the comments on in your uh, own thing, in your own, uh, you know, uh, Course Maker. You gotta go to your course world if you put comments in there. Oh, I don't have comments on. Okay, hold on here. Well. Now we have comments. Carefully replace the idol. Steady hands. Some of you have seen that already. This part's new. Instead of having a ton of switches, we just have one switch. And you can tell if you fall in there, you're going to fall to your death. So you need to kind of hit that and jump back out. But if you fall down there, guess what? You don't fall to your death. Like you think you're going to do. Except for these Goombas that are coming down here. If you're fast about it, you won't fall to your death. Or lose your thing. Then this will come up over here past those enemies. And guess what? You bypassed all those enemies. If you're quicker with it, you can do it. Oh, and I wasn't quick there. I needed a running start. We'll bypass the, uh, the, uh, the trap. Come down here. There's only two Goombas. Take our vine back up. We'll wait a moment. Now there's no enemies to be seen. That's one of the new additions. It's to, it's to make another optional pit trap that you think you're gonna fall to your death, but you really do not. And that's a comment that I did not put in here. Someone else put that in there. I always get hit on that one. I always get hit on that one. I could have made it in there, but let's just do it true to the story. The P-Switch is just in case the boulder does not come all the way through for some reason. Number, Here's change number two. Is I added those things there that don't actually hit you. I gave you a mushroom. I took out the fire bars. Oh, and I messed my up my own thing. And I put uh, spike tops instead of fire bars. Those things won't hit you as long as you're quick. Those won't hit you either. They look like they'll hit you. Wait, yeah, okay, they will hit you. A, a couple times they don't hit you. I think it's it's like a uh, it's like a like a fifty fifty chance they'll hit you I guess because I've uh, been in there a few times and not got hit hit and I've had other people play it they didn't get hit that time I got hit maybe it's, maybe it's only uh maybe there's a chance to it. Give back the Sankara Stone you stole. Get rid of him. And here's something I was going to show you here. Those two Prana Plants there, that is a glitch. Those were the same two Prana Plants that were on the minecart that you were chasing. They, This was this was an unintentional thing I, that happened while I was making this game. Totally unintentional. Because I just wanted the track just to... Or the, their cart to just go up and over and disappear. But for some reason, they land there. C completely unintentional and so awesome. I'm going to get hit there, but you see. We have a costume here. Anyway, only the penitent toad should pass. Penitent toad. Penitent. We made that. 
Here's another new addition. We have these ghosts right here. I know ghosts really don't have anything to do with Indiana Jones, but I just wanted something there besides what I had. Originally I had, uh, uh, some more fire bars. But why have two sets of fire bars? Because you're gonna have some fire bars here, so... The other fire bars were pointless. So I just wanted a new obstacle. And I added some Monty Moles right here. But if you don't kill them right away, they'll chase you down here and make you want to get into that door quicker. And here is cha another change. The I Hate Snakes is now the Dizzy Room. It was the next room was the Dizzy Room. But the dizzy this makes them look more like baby snakes. So I think that is a good change. And I changed that uh, text right there, too. Now it says in the Latin alphabet, switch starts with a P. Which is a joke off of a, uh... Something from Last Crusade. In the Latin alphabet, Jehovah starts with an I. So, so I took out the I pose poisoned your drink, Dr. Toad. I took that out. And I also changed that you had to go to double doors there. So instead of uh, skip... Uh, some people actually skipped that part on accident because they decided to go into the second door instead of the first door, and they skipped the snake part. And I wanted to make sure that people saw the snake part. So, I, so that's what I did there. And I changed this part too. I added two doors. So if you just if you if you can find the go up here and you can find the key first try, you can just get the key, go up that door up there, go to freedom, and that's the end of the game. But if you're feeling risky here and uh, want to experiment, which most people don't, is totally optional. This door here leads to the treasure room. And another key. It's really just coins, but it's still cool. Was there a P-switch in here? What happened there? Who hit a P-switch? Do I have something set up that a P-switch gets hit? That never happened before. Hmm. It's not a big deal. Just wondering where what happened what happened with that P-switch. Maybe Bowser up there hit it. Maybe it maybe it's the one up there. It's all good though. It doesn't hurt anything, I guess. When you run out of here before that Bowser jumps down. And I lost my costume, so we're gonna have to do this carefully here. Not get hit and not bring up too many enemies, and I got hit there. But we got a checkpoint right here. I got a little nervous with that blooper there. This time we'll go to freedom. Get our butts out of here. Before things start heating up around here. Okay, we got hit, that's okay. In the door we go. That was unintentional too. But that is really cool. How the Bowsers come down like that. Look like they're coming at you. That is really cool. That was unintentional, but it worked perfectly. It makes it look like they're, they're still coming after you and it scares you. Now this costume here is just to fool people. And just in case you wanted to end the level with a costume, because most people think that the, le the level's not done here. I fooled people with this. Because they don't see that that's the, uh, hole right there. I fool a lot of people with that. They think they, they gotta go up higher than that and get up and out of there. So that's the uh, look at those two levels.
So uh, stay tuned for more videos here in the future. I'm going to be recording some more here in a minute.